Ahoy, ya swabs! Captain Jeff the Pirate here, at your disservice. And welcome to Captain Jeff Reviews and Questions Adventure Time. Today's episode, Blade of Grass. To begin with, I have to give me golf clap to whoever came up with uh, that title. Very creative, very, <laughs> very funny, creative, and relevant to the episode in question. So the episode starts off with Finn and Jake on top of like a whole bunch of slides fighting off uh, uh, what I'm guessing is uh, they very weird looking monsters. They look like humans. They look like pretty boy humans that are apparently monsters or whatever. So yeah. Jake be doing all the work because Finn is still using the family side, which is now just which is now just a broken. Eh. I'd say about maybe this much of the sword is remained from when the demon got its blood back. So, they figure they have to go and buy a new sword. They go to the market and, and uh, they first think about going with a choose goose, but uh, they, I re recall, having bought some armor from him. That didn't quite work out too well. So they find a new sword smith shop. It'd be in this tall pile of grass and... The, the store owner gives Finn a sword, which looks like a giant blade of grass. And Finn, he starts to like it immediately. And after using it a bit, he is unnaturally good. He slices a pizza in half perfectly. He slices an apple in half perfectly. He slices the tag off a pillow so well, he even does an intricate detail of his head and face from the tag. So then he puts the sard away and goes to sleep, but has a nightmare that the sard is going to turn him into grass and wakes up to find it in his hand and starting to wrap around his arm. He tries to get rid of the sard, but it still keeps coming back. So they figure they have to return the sard. They find the, the seller be gone, so they speak with, with Choose Goose. He'd be a wee bit upset how they saw, went to some other proprietor before him. But he still helps them out and finds out the sword be coming from a grass wizard on the magical grassy plains. It's on top of this high grassy mountain. So they go, as they go up the mountain, the wizard be throwing grass based items like grass chair, grass table, grass shoe, grass microwave. And yet despite this sword being made of grass, it has cut all those things before and still continues to cut things. It even thwarted a candle robbery early on in the episode. So as Finn keeps going on, he even at one point bends the blade and it becomes like a spinning, spinning a fan function to cut through a giant grass creature. So he realizes that uh, this thing is starting to work out pretty good. So he demands the sword, the, the, the sword be uncarsed and the grass wizard says no. But uh, Finn, he's learned to accept that and he's okay with it. And then suddenly it goes from being a grass blade into a grass wristband. So now... So now that he has accepted the sard, it is now able to become more, uh, it now works with him instead of against him. If I was to describe it, it'd be like maybe the symbiote from the Spider-Man series meets uh, the hidden blade from Assassin's Creed. It's now on his wrist, it's, hit, it's there for when he needs it, and all he has to do is just rip, vroom, and it comes into full existence, and then when he wants to, it retracts back into a, a wristband guard. I think so. I give this episode two thumbs up. It'd be very good. And the only question I have to ask is, now, is this, what else can this sard cut through? And uh, I guess two questions. The other question is, uh, will it be around for the rest of the series? Is this the new mainstay sard? Or will it be until Finn gets another sword or goes back to his uh, first one? If you recall, this be sard number three in the Finn lineup. He has, uh, he had his yellow sard. He uh, had the family sired, and now he has this sword. So this be sired number three. Yeah, so I, I like this episode. Very well written. And I liked how... And I can understand it, it's a magical grass blade, and it's able to cut through multiple things. So unlike the previous episode, which had way too many questions and way too much weirdness, this one be pretty good. I can't wait to see what they do for the next episode. All right, until next time, this be Captain Jeff the Pirate saying, Arr, thank ye for watching.